Hello, I'm John Kelly, Chagas Advisor based in Tullamore County Offaly and we're talking through the different temporary and permanent fencing options on sheep farms here at Sheep 2018. Here I have the three rows of poly wire uh, with the option of putting on a fourth strand. Uh, in general it's, it's very, very very good at keeping yews and lambs back and a fourth wire will also give you the option of keeping the wires close to the ground and maybe perhaps not electrifying the bottom row. It's cost about 100 to 150 euro per 100 meters and it's, it's relatively simple and it's cheap to erect and it gives farmers options of splitting fields up uh, even smaller divisions and moving the wire from field to field. There's also for those who don't have main fencing on their farms there is the battery energizer option where you buy a battery energizer and hook it up onto a tractor battery which also there's an additional add-on you can purchase of a solar energizer which actually charges the battery all throughout the summer so it gives it extra long lasting power and save from regular changing batteries and save on charging batteries uh, back at home in the farmyard. It comes either you can purchase the strip reels, the geared reels, uh, they're about 50 to 60 euros a piece and it also you can use them for cattle fencing as well. So it gives you that option of having sheep and cattle in the field or removing the reel and using it on a cattle farm also. It comes with an anchor post as well, which you purchase as well, an additional for 30 to 40 euros. You can anchor the three reels on it and uh, it also provides good stability. Then we have going up here towards the sheep net. Um, it's about 80 euros or 190 to 50 euro meter or general 50, 80 euros per 50 meter length. The bottom row isn't electrified um, so that means the grass won't cause take power from it. It's relatively low power to, to power the fence um, but the main thing is to keep power in the fence or, or sheep can, 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 can go through it but it is a very good option for splitting fields as well. And then as we move on here we have the the permanent option, which is the typical uh, Department of Agriculture approved TAMS fencing with the, the 4 to 5 inch in diameter internal posts and 79 inch in diameter straining posts. Uh, generally putting the post uh, 4 metres between each post um, is recommended and what's grant approved is netted wire and either raw plain wire or barbed wire. Um, costs about 4 euros a metre of materials and you could expect another 2 to 50 metre if you're supplying labour as well, pay someone to put it up. Those are different options in the farm. What we're saying here is if you can try and split a field, grow more grass, if you can get lambs killed that bit earlier or if you can get extra silage out of the system which will be very much needed this winter.